Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. In the previous session, we had seen the additive identity and the additive inverse of a rational number. Today, we are going to see the multiplicative identity and the multiplicative inverse of rational numbers. We know for any two rational numbers, A and B, A multiplied by B equals B multiplied by A. For example, 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 equals 1 by 4 equals 1 multiplied by 1 by 4. Or 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 equals 1 by 4. See here, 1 by 4 and 1 are the elements in a set of rational numbers. And when we multiply 1 by 4 with 1, we get the same number itself. If we multiply minus 5 by 6 by 1, that is minus 5 by 6 multiplied by 1 equals minus 5 by 6. Here also, we get the same number itself. So we call 1 as the multiplicative identity for the given numbers. Multiplicative identity is an identity that when used to multiply, a given element in a specified set leaves that element unchanged. The multiplicative identity is denoted by 1. In general, we can say that for a rational number a, a multiplied by 1 equals 1 multiplied by a equals a or a multiplied by 1 equals a. Now we have a multiplied by 1 equals a. Or we can write it as a multiplied by 1 by a equals 1. Here we get an element 1 by a which is the value that when multiplied to the original number a results in multiplicative identity 1. And we call 1 by a as the multiplicative inverse of a. In general, we can say that the multiplicative inverse of any number a is 1 by a. So the multiplicative inverse of a is 1 by a because a multiplied by 1 by a equals 1. Here, a is a number. 1 by a is its multiplicative inverse and 1 is the multiplicative identity. That is, a number multiplied by its multiplicative inverse gives the multiplicative identity 1. For example, the multiplicative inverse of 7 is 1 by 7 because 7 multiplied by 1 by 7 equals 1. Similarly, the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 by 5 is minus 5 by 3 because minus 3 by 5 multiplied by minus 5 by 3 equals 1. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we discussed multiplicative identity and multiplicative inverse. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. What is the multiplicative inverse of 12 by 13? 2. Is 1, 2 by 7, the multiplicative inverse of 7 by 9? That's all for now. See you all in the next class.